Welcome to NTN Nightly. I'm Huma Mark. This edition Stop Stories. St. Lucians are urged to enjoy the Easter celebration safely by adhering to COVID-19 protocols. The first shipment of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine from the COVAX facility to arrive here by next week. And the government of Taiwan donates more PPEs to frontliners. The celebration of Easter this year is scaled down, like many other events and activities the world over, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The government of St. Lucia, on the advice of the chief medical officer, announced adjustments to the curfew hours in order to limit movement and ultimately the spread of the coronavirus. CMO Dr. Sharon Belmont George says, despite the difficulties in the past year, we must remain focused on what is truly important, health, family and life. The public is reminded that although the Ministry of Health notes the flattening of this third wave, we still have over 100 active cases in country. We would like to alert the public that mass crowd activities and open socialization is not recommended nor approved at this time in our management of the pandemic. We are still at high risk at this point. The public health team is working to reduce the cases to less than 50 to enable safe opening up of activities. We ask the public to work with us and continue to be patient. The premature social activity will lead to an upsurge of cases given the exponential transmission typical of this virus. As such, everyone is reminded that we need to continue adhering to the infection prevention and control measures that are proven to reduce transmission of the COVID-19 virus and keep us safe. While the CMO notes that Easter is traditionally a time for family activities and socialization, she is urging St. Lucians to make responsible decisions to keep safe. We ask the public to celebrate the long weekend responsibly. Avoid excessive alcohol consumption. Avoid driving under the influence. Drive within the speed limits and manage conflict safely, especially since we note the increases in violent crime over the last few days. If accessing the beach, do so with caution and monitor young children closely. The Easter weekend is noted for drownings and near drowning events. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George. Meantime, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force is reminding the public of their protocols for the Easter weekend. During an update on NTN, Superintendent of Police Dr. Mashama Silly informed that mass crowds or large gatherings are not allowed. Family gatherings are allowed but are limited to 10 family members of the same household. River limes and beach limes are not allowed. And so we are seeking the cooperation also of all bar owners to comply with the grab and go protocol. All protocols were put in place for our safety, and we cannot do this alone. We are all negatively impacted by the few who refuse to comply. We must remember that this is a highly contagious disease, and so we solicit the cooperation of everyone. For the Easter weekend, kindly be reminded that the curfew hours are as follows. Thursday, 1st April, to Friday, 2nd April, from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. Saturday, 3rd April, 2021, from 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. Sunday, 4th April, to Monday, 5th April, the curfew hours are 3 p.m. to 4 a.m. Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy has cautioned the public against breaching the protocols. Commissioner Daisy says the force has pulled its resources to strengthen its numbers for the weekend. Now we are urging persons to be considerate, do not venture into activities that are not approved. You know what are, um, activities that, uh, that you are permitted to do. It was read, it is, um, you could have a house a house um, gathering with at least 10 persons being family members. So that is all the pattern that is 
that is permitted. We see in other islands the, their protocols. We have some islands that the beaches are closed over the weekend. We see some that have a total two-day two -day shutdown, but we do not have that. Persons are still free to move around, but we need, there are certain things, certain activities that persons have to desist from participating in or hosting. Um, there are some flyers going around about a breakfast party and so on. These things will not be permitted. So um, of the bat, don't try it. It will not be permitted to, to happen. We, um, our intel have received information as to where these things will be taking place. So we will take the necessary action to ensure that these things don't go ahead. Commissioner of Police, Milton Daisy. St. Lucia expects the first shipment of 24,000 doses of the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine from the COVAX facility between April 5th and 6th, 2021. These doses will be used to commence phase two of the national vaccination campaign. The ministry will also administer the second doses of the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine to individuals who were inoculated in phase one. Assistant Principal Nursing Officer and Immunization Manager Tekla Jabatis says the ministry has adjusted the date for administering the second doses due to advice from the World Health Organization. Initially, St. Lucia had decided on a six-week interval for receiving the second vaccine dose. However, the World Health Organization, in its last release on March 16, 2021, noted that a wider second dose interval of 8 to 12 weeks is recommended. This revision was done as it has been proven that this wider window increases the effectiveness of the vaccine as it provides increased protection from the virus to individuals who are vaccinated within this updated schedule. Considering this update, the Ministry of Health took the decision to reschedule the second dose appointment to eight weeks for people who were initially given the six-week appointment after their first dose. The Ministry of Health will be informing these individuals of the new date of their second COVID-19 vaccine dose by way of a phone call or through the management of their organizations. Like any other vaccine or medication, there are common side effects associated with these products, which some people may experience. For the COVID-19 vaccine, these side effects are generally mild to moderate. When they do occur, they tend to last about 24 to 48 hours after receiving the vaccine. Common reported side effects include tenderness, pain, warmth, and or swelling at the injection site, fever, chills, fatigue, headache, nausea, muscle ache, and body pains. There have been few reports of rash, itching, dizziness, sweating, and abdominal pains. The Ministry of Health is encouraging people who experience side effects associated with the vaccine to report this to the healthcare provider. This is part of the monitoring and evaluation process of the COVID-19 vaccination program. To date, there is no evidence of death caused by the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine globally, nor in St. Lucia by the Ministry of Health. The vaccine has been manufactured in keeping with the strictest safety requirements from the stage of manufacturing to the administering of the vaccine to individuals and the monitoring which follows vaccination. The COVID-19 vaccine is safe, it is free, and is being made accessible to all over the age of 18 years. Assistant Principal Nursing Officer and Immunization Manager, Tekla Jabatis. It was a joyous and momentous occasion for the Owen King EU Hospital and the Respiratory Hospital VH as they celebrated their first year anniversary since transitioning. More in this report from Fernel Neptune. The Owen King EU Hospital and the Victoria Hospital VH recently held appreciation ceremonies 
to acknowledge the hard work done by the staff during the year since the transition. Minister for Health and Wellness, Senator the Honorable Mary Isaac, recounts the emotional day last year when the Victoria Hospital transitioned into the Owen King EU Hospital. Doctors and nurses, firemen and women, police and all hospital workers, well coordinated, got on the move and stayed on task till the end. With the departure of each ambulance load, staff waited with bated breath, praying for a safe delivery to the other hospital and return for more patients. At the end of it all, it can be written in our history that the move was well coordinated, flawless and a great success. Prime Minister of St. Lucia, the Honorable Alan Chastney, expressed heartfelt gratitude to the hard-working staff of the two institutions for remaining committed despite the challenges they continue to be faced with. We did with what we had and that is my real tribute to the doctors and nurses who were here. They knew that we had to tell them, to tell you, that what you were trying to do was impossible. Every single day coming to work and recognizing that what was needed and what you had was far away. But yet, we came to work. And yet, the persons who were here, the patients, never knew what you were having to go through behind the scenes. That is what gave me strength. Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Benson Emil says, although it is a time to celebrate, it is also a time to focus on the next phase as it relates to the growth of the institutions. Let me take this time you know, to congratulate all those who were involved in the process. It was challenging, you know, it required, you know, extended hours, it required quite a bit of sacrifice. But we can come here today to celebrate our survivor, and we can come here to commit, you know, to framing and developing, you know, and forming this institution and the respiratory institution to bring it and escalate it to the highest standard, one that is delivering care and looking after the well-being of St. Lucians. The first anniversary celebrations were held under the theme Transition We Have, Continued Good Health and Safety We Will. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fernal Neptune. The government of Taiwan facilitated the donation of 1,000 protective suits, 5,000 barrier gowns, and 100,000 surgical masks to the government of St. Lucia. The Ambassador of Taiwan, His Excellency Peter Chen, presented the supplies to the Department of Health and Wellness during a small handing over ceremony. It's my honor to be here once again to support St. Lucia efforts in combating COVID 19 by presenting St. Lucia this token of care and support from extraordinary Taiwanese entrepreneurs. On behalf of the TSMC Charity Foundation and the Medex International Corporation Limited, I'm handing over 1,000 protective suits, 5,000 barrier guns, and 100,000 surgical masks to help citizens in Fair Helen better protect themselves and continue her fight against the pandemic. The supplies were received by the Minister with Responsibility for Health, Senator Honorable Mary Isaac. She expressed deep gratitude to the Taiwanese government for making the shipment and logistics possible. We can safely say that the government of Taiwan has contributed immensely to our success in managing the pandemic in St. Lucia. Without your help, much of what we have done would not have been possible. As you know, we have been able, we can once again say we have been able to contain the virus, though we have had a number of spikes, unfortunately so, but with friendly um, agencies, friendly governments, 
corporate society, um, we have been able to maintain some semblance of um, protection for our people. The Permanent Secretary in the Department of Health and Wellness, Benson M. Mills, says St. Lucia and Taiwan has a long-standing relationship and their support to the development of the country is reflected across various sectors. This has seen us, you know, as a people and as a country, benefit in many ways across all sectors. In the area of economic development, you have assisted us in improving and enhancing you know, our physical infrastructure. In the area of education, the technical assistance that you provide and the financial donations that you make to us has gone a long way in assisting us in enhancing this sector as well, especially you know, allowing us to benefit you know, from the technical advances. In the area of agriculture, we have to mention that the technical assistance that you provided in that area as well. Emil says the government of Taiwan has proven to be a partner in the delivery of health care in St. Lucia. The proceeds of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority's UK Gala and Charity Auction event in 2019 have been donated to the Boys Training Center of BTC. The total sum, $26,034.41, was presented to the Juvenile Rehabilitation Center on 1st April 2021. Jorane Georges is the SLTA Public Relations Manager. The Boys Training Center particularly was chosen. Um, we're neighbors, if I should say that. Um, our offices are in close proximity. And we value the work that the Boys Training Center um, does, especially with the young men. Um, in rehabilitating them. And so annually, the St. Lucia Tourism Authority seeks out a charity that it can work with in that regard. And we really want to thank our travel and tourism partners who donated um, to, to this cause. BTC Director Juan Sonson accepted the check on behalf of the institution. On behalf of the Boys Trading Center, the wards and the staff, I'd like to thank the St. Lucia Tourism Authority for this kind gesture. I'd like to thank them for recognizing the efforts that we put into rehabilitation of the boys who come to the center. Um, it's only fitting that um, this check is coming from the St. Lucia um, Tourism Authority because of the fact that our aim is to steer these young men from a life of crime, which inevitably, if we fail, might impact negatively on our tourism product. So on behalf of the boys i would like the st lucia tourism authority to know that this donation will go a long way towards the ultimate rehabilitation programs that will benefit and impact the lives of our boys in a positive way the boys training center provides general residential as well as specialized treatment services for juvenile offenders and juveniles in need of care and protection between the ages of 10 and 18 years old this is Antia nightly up next, Primus Hutchinson with the Antia Nouvelle Aquiol. Yeah, my G. Yeah. Ah. Uh. The road clear, my G. Do road. Do road. I don't feel now is the right side. Are you mean by the road clear, my G? Do road. 120. Yeah, man. That's how we do it. Like real boss. Boy, 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 boy. Yes, sir. Watch, watch it. Watch it. Watch. Don't fall victim to peer pressure when driving. Your life and the lives of others are your responsibility. Drive safe. Arrive alive. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle Quillon. Monsieur Tan, Homer. Monsieur Madame Department, qui n'est responsabilité pour information à gouvernement cette ci ça c'est GIS. Et Télévision Nationale PIA NTN, Capositor Nouvelle à Coyol, Positor Primus Hutchinson. L'hôpital Owen King et l'hôpital Victoria détiennent une cérémonie d'appréciation récemment pour célébrer euh, tout le travail WED qui était fait par ces travailleurs durant l'année après l'opération de la sortie en Victoria pour l'hôpital Owen King. Ministre de Santé, on a Mary Isaac, a porté mémoire vivée pour l'année passée, les autorités tuer toute opération à l'hôpital Victoria et placé à l'hôpital Owen King. Ministre Isaac changé de manière, 
C'est un moment qui était twist. Les docteurs nos avec les propriétaires, police, avec tout le travail, euh, tout le corps pour ensemble, avec le travail, c'est tellement red pour juste un, il était fini, grand morceau projet ça là. Mais c'est ça qui a changé de manière, ce travail a été pour dire qui c'est ambulance a été pour tout ce monde qui était malade, sorti de l'hôpital Victoria pour Owen King, ça ne sauve. Mais c'est ça qui a été changé de côté hôtel la contentement tout travailler qui travaille les qui le travail la fait sans pièce trois cassement sans pièce c'est mon là qui était malade la trouver affecté pour ministre honorable Alan Chasney aussi tu très appréciable pour tout ce travail à euh, tous les des institutions c'était ça là pour dédication et pour qu'à continuer chaîne commitment euh, malgré toutes ces situations tu qu'à chagriner yo pour ministre Chasney déclaré qui Ces docteurs nous la mérité en lot appréciation pour manier au fait des gros sacrifices malgré le travail là de garder est possible. Il félicite ce travail santé pour qu'à continuer venir en travail et qu'à pièce ces monde qui était malade là par une perception des gros pèse qui était associé docteur avec nous ça là. Si que les permanent ministère de santé pour le moment Benson Emily dit que malgré c'est un temps pour célébrer mais Ce qui est plus important, c'est pour poser attention à ce l'autre phase de travail là. Selon ce que des permanents, tout ce travail a mérité un grand degré félicitations pour tout ce uh, long et travail qui est fait. C'est tellement wed uh, pour qui ces deux institutions, institutions là, au point à donner un haut degré pour procurer service santé pour toutes ces lycéens. En parlant de ça. Ministre de Santé, Honorable Mary Isaac, ajouté à ce parole qui était déjà fait concernant l'opération service de santé sorti de l'hôpital Victoria, côté euh, l'hôpital Owen King, qui a été placé. Selon Honorable Isaac, c'est une initiative qui était méritée en réponse pour la maladie COVID. Et à vrai que ça n'a pas devenu en réalité si euh, pas été fort tout travail, nos docteurs et toutes les autres. Il aussi remercie le Premier ministre de Santé. On a Alain Chasley, un degré d'assistance qui va pour faciliter le changement de la ministre de la Santé a fait un grand épouvement pour le service de santé à cette ici. So, Aujourd'hui, je vous dis que nous sommes dans l'OKIU, OK nous pouvons préparer pour ça, entrer en OKIU, OK mais mm. pour la petite COVID. Nous tenons pour ça faire vite, so que nous tenons ça jouer Victoria Hospital pour nous tenons ça mettre ces gens qui sont malades depuis la COVID. Donc, so c'est qu'on a passé la passe, nous tenons une belle célébration, nous tenons mm -hmm. Victoria Hospital et puis nous allons au KIU avec nous tous ces staffs, ces gens qui nous apprécient, nous apprécions nou mm -hmm. ça et nous faisons. Nous allons au Doto Ati, qui sont quoi des momentos, nous allons au Doto Ati. Petit plaque pour montrer dat ki a dan jwenn certificat a cha yo jwenn um jwenn bagay from corporate sponsors a mo cha yo corporate sponsors yo jwenn so mwen ni pou remercier ces corporate sponsors la tout ki ki fè sa possible avec ces ces travailleurs apprécier ça yo montrer yo apprécier ti cérémonie en cha so bon mwen pran pran bon mwen di actuellement Uh, merci en pile pour tout le monde qui aide nous à move, sortir Victoria Hospital et puis aller au KI. Et nous still mis un chai monde qui a aidé nous toujours pour nous taper pour nous settle en dedans au KI. Une grande institution, uh, ça c'est une grande institution qui a adressé la situation contre l'abusement de drogue en cette ici, très concerné. Et puis c'est quantité de jeunesse qui a emballage, qui a engagé en drogue et quoi. Coordinateur pour concept des conseils contre abusement de drogue à cette ci Charmin Hippolyte Emmanuel, qui a fait public la savoir que l'année en de législation qui est en place pour gouverner et adresser cette situation. Là. Avec AXA, là, bien expliqué, côté qui, mon maille en balage pas supposé, si vendre ou en baïmoun, et bien, moun qui ni licence pour vendre, pas supposé si vendre baïmoun maille. Bon, Nous, 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 nous
peut-être mon qui dit oh ça c'est ich moi moi ni ti kaba we moi et ben ça on aide moi bagay comme ça mais nous ni pour point ces bagay ça la c'est oui avec pas quitter jouer dans situation ko am loi ni pour am involvant ça faire ou human services et police et bagay comme ça là ni loi pour dire tout bagay avec nous pas supposé quitter mon mai engagé en calte bagay comme ça OK so les nous ni mon mai qui kai pratiquer ces bagay comme ça Yo kay vini pli gwan avec peut-être ça nous a mouche yo peut-être moi ka di ça nous ja mouche yo c'est ça yo kay end up ka ka vini habitué et puis et ben nous kay comprendre comment y est en pile ces bagay là am ki ka fait au li on nous nous kay comprendre comment y est yo commencer moi pas ka di c'est tout les ces bagay là ka fait comme ça mais nous ni pour comprendre la ni loi pour suivre avec moun ki ni licence pour either retail et ben guest house et ben restaurant et bagay comme ça ou ni pour point responsabilité ou ni pour suivre ça yo di ou pour faire madame emmanuel ka fait public la comprendre qui la ni loi en place pour gouverner tout ça qui ka fait expressement pour moun qui qui ni kabawe restaurant et l'autre comme ça so nou vle moun comprendre la ni loi ka di de tout bagay avec nous ni pour protéger ich nous nous ni pour protéger konou avec moun ki ni licence pour vendre avec engager en dit dans bagaille comme ça ni pour point responsabilité aussi. Et monsieur madame, ça c'est côté nous à toi votre nouvelle là. Moi quand même c'est autant pour ka garder moi ka ba une invitation pour jeune puis moi encore c'est dire conserver la vie les gars présenter l'autre nouvelle à quoi. Tu me souhaiter tout le monde à bonne fête Pâques et que c'est moi fort ça il nécessaire pour ça obéir Uh, toutes ces confus à qui en place pour préserver la vie et la vie de la femme aussi. Et uh, comme on dit, nous avons vieux jeunes encore dans la vie pour cette autre nouvelle à quoi il a pris ça. Nous avons vieux vie pour cette autre. Merci à Peel Primus. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You could also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I'm Huma Dimwak. Mm -hmm.